Hi there, welcome back to my channel and if you're new around here, I talk about music production, the gear I use to create the tracks around here and general nerdy stuff that interests me. And if you like that, you are welcome to stay. I promised a few months ago I was going to check out uh, the uh, Yuhi Diva synthesizer in uh, the M1 MacBook Pro. I'm actually going to do that today. I'm just going to take a look at it here. So this is the beta version of the my favorite soft synthesizer, except my Moog, of course. So yeah, I'm going to just play around with uh, the uh, ARM version of the uh, Diva synthesizer in Logic Pro here. And uh, yeah, just to see how it works. Yeah, let's see if we can uh, re reposition the camera somewhat and get this. So let's see, the lens is this way. So I have a little loop here where I never get out of the loop. So I've been working on a melody. I think you've heard it in another video here as well. And uh, we have uh, Diva, the ARM M1 version, uh, beta version loaded up here. And uh, under accuracy, I have it in uh, Divine. So it's uh, the most taxing on your computer. And uh, yeah, I like to use Diva one because it's a synthesizer that I use. I like the sound from it. And number two, it's uh, it's a little bit demanding, so it can show you how a uh, system performs. But you have to realize that this is a beta version of the VST, so you don't. Uh, so this should not reflect the uh, uh, final version. I don't think. So I have this melody going. I'm just going to copy the MIDI data from the above thing here, back here. And we are going to solo just the Diva track. So Diva now is playing a patch called Gorgeous Plux One. It's from, uh, I can't say his name, but uh, it's uh, this uh, guy here. I can link it in the description. Uh, it's a nice preset pack. So here is how it sounds uh, from the Diva. Okay. Oh, and you see the multi-core button here. In the beta version, this button doesn't do anything, as far as I have understood. So just so you know. Okay, so it's in Divine, and we can take a look at the CPU here. So performance meter, and we can also take a look at my settings in Logic. If we go to audio, uh, we have a buffer size of 64. And uh, we are using uh, eight threads, so that's four high performance cores. Buffer is medium. And yeah, you can see here everything is pretty much standard. So it's uh, 64 buffer size, so let's see. So you can see it's using quite a lot of CPU. You see that over there. Okay, and I also have a little reverb on it here. Uh, Valhalla Super Massive, I think it's, it, it's uh, called. So what if I just bring in uh, Serum as well? So Serum is also in a native M1 version now. It's uh, here. Let's play both of them, see how that sounds and looks. So yeah, it works. It's uh, it's no big deal there, and uh, we can uh, see how the quality setting on Diva affects the uh, CPU usage share. So if we go on Diva here, we open up Diva, and we set the accuracy to draft. Let's see if that changes anything. Yeah, 
Yeah, so you can see, you notice that it's uh, around 25% here in, uh, in the CPU meter or processing threads. And it's not using all cores. So if I set the accuracy to divine again, you can see that it goes up. It should go up. Well, it didn't, and uh, maybe this is the reason it's a beta version. So you can see now the performance is actually good. Okay, let's try another preset I know is a little bit more demanding, and it's called Kingpin. Let's try that one. Oops. Okay. So there we got some uh, crackling. Okay. Uh, let's see if we turn it down to draft. Okay, so draft works. Okay, let's set it to fast. Okay, that works. Let's set it to great. Okay, now we can hear that you get crackling here. But you... You get it when you open up the cutoff. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so what if we go to logic then and we go to preferences so you can go into the preferences by pressing command uh, comma and we go to IO buffer size. Let's set that to 256 instead. See if that helps. Because if you get crackling, it could, uh, and you're producing in the box, then it could help if you increase the uh, buffer size. So let's try it now with 256. Okay. Uh, well, it's still some crackling here going. But we set it to draft. It works fine. Okay, so I read one thing in the forum that said that you actually had to disable uh, adjust lighting automatically because that would uh, give some problems. So let's try to save this, open Logic Pro again and take a look. Open up Diva, let's see if this works. Okay, so you get some crackling there. So it's not really, um, it works, of course. You can, I guess you can, when you produce, you can set it to draft, you know. Uh, and you can, when you export, you can set to offline here, you can set it to best. And it will be the best when you export the file. So there shouldn't be any issues. <clears throat> but we can take a look at uh, if I check out serum here. Serum is also a demanding synthesizer if you want it to be. So as you can see here I have 16 units in here and 8 units in here so I can just up that on both here and it's running without any issue here at least so serum is working just fine. And on global here, we can set it to 4x on uh, quality. Maybe increase the release a little bit because that will also increase some CPU. So 
So it's working pretty good. We can try another thing. We can go into Diva here now and I can remove this um, uh, bus so it doesn't send any effects. So let's see if it affects anything. Okay, so it crash crashes. So yeah, uh, that was Diva uh, <laughs> and how it works on the M1 MacBook Pro, at least now. So I promised you guys to show off Diva on the M1 MacBook Pro and this was just a quick test to show you how the current state is. It's still under development, so you, don't, you shouldn't take this as as the way it's going to be when it's finished. Uh, the software I is run I'm running here on this Mac, it's a beta version of the software, meaning it's under development and they, they don't feel it's ready yet. So I think that when the software is ready to go, I think it will fly on the M1 MacBook Pro and reading the forums on where Yuhi publishes updates about the development, it seems like when we get the final version, I think it's going to run pretty good on the M1 uh, based uh, MacBook Pros or MacBook Air. So for me, I don't use the M1 MacBook Pro for uh, production that much. I use my desktop PC for production using Ableton Live. I occasionally, when I'm out of town on traveling in at work, I take my ma uh, laptop with me and sometimes I just make a melody melody or something on the M1 MacBook Pro and then I can uh, transport that into Ableton Live as a MIDI file or something like that. Or I s sometimes I can create a whole track on the M1 MacBook Pro and it's certainly possible. I've actually made stock music on the M1 MacBook Pro from uh, start to finish and it's even sold on stock library sites so it's you can of course produce music with it. I'm not saying you can't. I'm just <laughs> testing Diva in this uh, video. So uh, yeah, at least I hope you got something out of it. And um, if you have any questions, I can try to answer them in the comments below. If not, you can uh, uh, subscribe to the channel, click like on the video if you liked it or uh, share it with others, that usually helps quite a lot. Thank you if you are here to the end, I really appreciate you watching, and I will see you in the ne <laughs> next video.